We are so excited because joining us here in the parking lot of Broadcast House is Lisa Wad, and she is the owner of the brand new Pot and Box flower truck. You just started this, what, in May? Yes, the truck launched in May. And so, you know, we've heard of you know, food trucks and that kind of thing, even trucks that, you know, you can go buy clothes, but this is new. Yes, people try to order lattes and barbecue from the flower <laughs> truck. <laughs> You're like, no, just blooms. Yep, look what we have. Yep. <laughs> Succulents. <laughs> so what, what inspired you to do this? Uh, the truck? Yeah. Yes. Um, well, we um, we wanted to be out in different neighborhoods and, you know, um, we can't really open up uh, 10 stores. So we thought we'd put our shop on wheels. Well, as our photographer, JJ, uh, kind of peeks inside to kind of show us all the cool things you have, this whole event, Detroit Flower Week, that starts today and runs through Saturday, is really something for flower enthusiasts. What can they get out of it? Yes, well, floral designers like me and anyone who loves plants or flowers, um, we've got something for everyone. Lectures and workshops, and the week culminates with a beautiful dinner at the public library. And this dinner uh, is something, it's not a fundraiser. Nope, um, it's dinner for 175 people, and we're in Adam Strom Hall, which <clears throat> in itself is beautiful, and we'll be set under a floral canopy done by our friend Joe Massey, who's come over from London to do this. Oh, man. He yeah. um, most recently did flowers for the Queen, Beautiful. so now there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now that is he's, impressive. Now he's here with us to do something spectacular. Okay. So. Is it already sold out? Uh, no, there's a, just a few tickets left, so. So for those who would like to come, again, where is it? How can they get in? How can they get tickets? Yes, yeah, so um, Tuesday through Friday, today through Friday, we'll be at the Jam Handy in New Center, just down from the Fisher Building. Then Saturday, our festivities move to the Detroit Public Library. There'll be three lectures in the morning and then our beautiful dinner. And you can um, get more information, check the schedule, get tickets, which are selling out fast, um, on DetroitFlowerWeek.info. What are some of the workshops that you think will be the real popular ones? We have some that are um, deep dives into floral design, kind of um, practical things for you know nerds like me. Um, but we also have um, interesting workshops for anyone um, perfume, um, flower painting, learning how to paint flowers, um, macrame, anything kind of loosely associated with botanical flowers, plants, you know, we're, it's really a celebration of that. Have you always been fascinated with flowers and, and had a green thumb? Yes, yes, I have. From an early age? <laughs> yes. Does this run in your family or it's all you? It doesn't. Um, when I, the summer I graduated from high school, I wanted to work outside. I thought, I'll, I'll garden and I loved it instantly. Well, I, I am so excited <laughs> for the very first ever Detroit Flower Week. How many people have been helping you organize this? Oh, I have an immense, immensely talented and an immense team. I can't even count. And again, it's not just for people who uh, would like to have a green thumb like me, but also for floral designers, professionals. Absolutely. There'll be um, lots of information about logistics and all that kind of stuff. But really, um, you know, all of the lectures, it's people coming and telling their stories. How did you get to be where you are? And I always find that interesting, even if it's not in my field. No kidding. Well, Lisa Wad, you are a bright, shining star for <laughs> entrepreneurs and environmentalists here in the Detroit area. We're so excited for you. And definitely look out for the pot and box flower truck and check out Detroit Flower Week. You can get the information where? DetroitFlowerWeek.info. Excellent. From October 11th through the 15th. Thank you so much, Lisa. We'll be right back with a news brief right after this.